Yes, we have a question in mind and that is how to permanently fix fire for crashing or slowness. It's a common problem uh, mostly of all us because if we have a high configuration computer still we face this issue. So how can we solve this? So first my suggestion is upgrade your Adobe player if you recommend it. So you will get it here and uh, you will install uh, first download it and install it. Uh, let's go here. So already there. So first, if you, you wish to install it, so you just uncheck this two. We don't need that. Then click on install it. Then wait for a few seconds. Okay. Uh, in it is installing, and later we'll think about this. It is downloading. Let's install it. So just go show on folder and click on install. Then run. Then yes, and installation will begin shortly. And uh, allow Adobe install updates recommended. Notify me when install updates next. So if you if you choose the first option, it will slow down your computer. I mean, often it has update and it will ask for it and it, it will do it in background and your computer will slow just let's keep it downloading then go for our next option install shockwave player so we often need it and you will get it in uh, helpxadobe.com shockwave so we are already in there then check now and uh, it shows that not installed browser name and uh, something like that so we will have to download adobe shockwave player so you will get it here so I, I am adding this link too so that you can easily get it for your uh, goodness so it have to downloading it just connecting so we wait for a few seconds for this and last one is in the meanwhile we will do the third thing and go for performance time then use this I mean uh, I am telling about this one I mean this this one writing it here so just put it here and uh, press enter on your keyboard I mean then use here I'm writing it here wait for a few seconds yes this one mm -hmm. so this one just then just put it here and uh, it is here and then you will go for performance and if you uncheck it if you uncheck it then you will see there is an option called use a hardware accelerator when available so you just uncheck it and this one is done in meanwhile let's see what about our flush and uh, it shows that restart our browser we will do that how about our shockwave player and uh, like install 30 web or 64 shock web player and um, we have to download shock web player so so let's do for it So for shockwave player you can use another link and that is fileapp.com download shockwave and uh, I am already in there and uh, here is uh, I will click download latest versions and it will start downloading it takes few seconds to start downloading so after this we will install it it takes few seconds we have to wait then just you, you will install it according to your need and uh, we don't need uh, not on one minute okay so what happened actually we will close this up and we will wait for this one so shockwave installation is done too and uh, let's see if our uh, I mean uh, uh, browser actually it uh, makes it uh, I mean faster or not let's uh, try it.
so just close it and then open it yes it is much faster than before and everything was working fine so one thing uh, i have to tell at last that is uh, whenever you do this if you if your browser have need a update you must update it to avoid any type of security issue thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this will help you to solve your firefox problem thank you for watching take care bye bye